We live that. We live that. We live that life. Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season finale. Thank God. Boring ass damn season overall. Um, it just don't. It didn't. It wasn't really the bottom of the show. I think the best part of the whole goddamn season is seeing um Princess doing dip flipping, scuba diving in that damn pool. That shit was fun as hell. And Mona Scott popping her ass out no goddamn word. Like, how in the hell is this supposed to be a reality show? When you got the damn producer and another in your motherfucking living room waiting on y'all to get through with y'all motherfucking church's, chinna, uh, church's chicken motherfucking dinner. Like, I ain't understand that. But let's go and get into it. Like I'm saying, Mona Scott in the background after what's name and, and took a scuba dive in the damn pool or whatever. I'm trying to say, like, if this is supposed to be a real, real show, why why is that? But y'all, of course, we know that's not what the tea is. So... Ray J talking about his situation, his his dealing with Princess, and they not talking at all, and she trying to baptize him with communion, um, the wine, and and Ray J did a motherfucking back step, okay, like he was part of the Temptations, and what's name took a she took a tumble, okay, in the damn pool, and she wanted to beat Ray J ass, and I don't blame her, cause that shit was embarrassing, but girl, you should never pour that motherfucking wine. I would kill for some red wine right now. Now I think about it, ooh, I would kill for some. Jesus, I can't. Wait, y'all, I can't. I just want I want a glass of wine. Um what else was going on? Nia, um, I guess her bottom lip caused her to be in a car wreck. Thank God she's okay. You know, her lips caused her to be in a car wreck or whatever. I don't think the car flipped over and was that bad because to me, I don't know how I feel about that. Because if it would have been a really, really bad car wreck, I'm thinking that she would at least, at least have some damn pictures of the car wreck being flipped, the car being flipped upside down. And I, I would think Mona Scott would have gotten that, okay? But she didn't, so, you know, she got a little fender bend or whatever. And luckily, the, what's the name, the girl, the little baby, was okay. She was fine, da, da, da. So I guess almost seeing her die from a fender bender causes um, Soldier Boy to get his shit together and be like, you know what, we live in this life. I'm loving you, da, 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 da. Um, like, but not the fact that Somebody actually died. If that was to happen, like if that actually happened, she had a miscarriage, means she lost a child. So that couldn't bring you close. Like you ain't had no feeling for her being a little fender bender. Like it shit ain't making making no sense. It's that shit is just crazy as hell. It just it's foolish as hell. Um, so they talking and he taking care of. He's like, I got you. Everything gonna be fine. Da, da, da. Foolish. Um, Tierra Tier Marie and Young Berg. Um. They're sitting down talking, and he's talking about he's going to have a showcase for her so she can bring her ass out and sing and tap dance and have a little kid and motherfucking heels on and do all she needs to do. I like to sing her, like the moon, and, 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 and you know, she won't do that shit, shuck and jive, whatever the fuck. So, I don't know, who was that, that hip-hop rapping dude with the damn lit ass shade glasses and the tight-ass shirt? with the far receding ass hairline? I can't think of his name, but, um, like... He came in the picture for some reason. Who gives a fuck? So, Young Berg and Young Berg and Tia Marie, they just talked about you know doing it. She gonna do it well. She gonna do good, and blah blah blah. But who gives a fuck? Like who gives a damn? Um, that that shit is crazy as hell. So, Fizz, baby mama Fizz, he done got him a new crib or whatever. Thing. He getting this shit guy. So I guess he's he smelling his pussy or whatever. So. He, he talking about some, well, no, what happened? Fizz and fucking, that's what I want to talk about. Fizz and Omarion sitting down in the damn, listening to Fizz's new song. They sit down in the studio listening to the new song and shit. And Omarion lying there talking about some, man, you're going to have the club going in. No, nigga, he'll probably have the gymnasium going in at a goddamn pep rally because that's all I felt when listening to that whack-ass fucking <sighs> ass song. I don't understand. Um... Um, Nikki, Nikki and Hazel, um, I don't know why y'all teaming up with two, with two of the fakest holes on the damn show, fake everything, too much silicone, too much plastic, and one got, y'all like a double bag fucking, um, gallon, two gallons of, of fucking low fat milk, just, y'all half white, okay, you 2% left of whiteness, okay, 2% left of blackness, okay, and whatever the fuck race y'all supposed to be, and, Y'all just double bag. Y'all look like double bag groceries. Two plastic, double faced plastic assholes sitting down talking, talking about they want to take over the world. Who the fuck are y'all? Pinky in the goddamn brain? Well, da da da, and all that kind of shit. Just whoop de whoop, whoop de whoop, doop doop. That shit's so funny. That little force, force so stupid. 
So they just talking about the fact that you know, like what what it what what Hazel I guess she wants to do, and they they in, like they don't like Masika, so they cool together. I, I just didn't understand. Like I just thought this shit was just stupid as hell. Like everybody just meeting up, these fake ass meet up and greet ups are so stupid as hell. Um, so we in Pollution Studios. I guess we're gonna take a look at um what Sno Snoop Dogg doing. Snoop Dogg and who else? Who was a Snoop Dogg? And Ray J ass is talking. So Ray J claiming that Snoop Dogg is real cuz, da da da. And he needs to explain to Snoop Dogg, you know, that even though that girl took a dip flip in the damn pool, let me tell you what it was. I don't know. Maybe Snoop Dogg got some relation with her. I don't understand why he felt like he needs to explain himself to um, Snoop Dogg about that shit. But Snoop Dogg, you and this rag ass did, um, this what's the name, I would think you have a little bit more coin, you know, but you know, you record whatever you need to for that whack ass shit that you're doing, whatever that dumb shit you're doing. It folks watch. Um, World Star Live, I guess that's what the hell called. And Snoop made a good point. He said, we instead of chasing these hoes and we want you to be wise, it's not going to happen. And I don't understand what, because I didn't really see Princess as a hoe. You know, she just ran her mouth and she talked. But Ray J, you do the same shit and you're an alcoholic and you have a goddamn problem. I'm so tired of seeing your ass. You sexy, but you stupid as hell. I just, I don't understand. Um, Masika, I'm trying to lie for my life understand why you and um hazel e decide what to meet her why did you understand like you came in dressed to the t your booty look like a motherfucking ragged stud muffin um like a ragged ass spud from damn mac allison that's the reject okay they just gonna give it out because they done fucked it up like you sitting here talking about hazel e being plastic and fake but baby when you said she just shaved that motherfucking beat down bitch i hollered so goddamn loud that motherfucker said, you, Masika can read, but she can read. That motherfucker said, you need to shave beak. That bitch said, Hazel got a beak. Then Hazel told me, I said, that's her Jewish nose. Money. Okay, Hazel, we're going to let you have that one. Um, That was that was kind of late. I'm just kind of confused. I, I, I just, I don't understand why you felt the need to, Um, I, I'm just kind of confused. Some, I, I, I'm just, I don't understand it. Um, but why did you, why are you dressed to impress and you're going to, to to face the enemy? Like, bitch, it's like you're going to fight the boss and you didn't bring, you ain't got everybody powered up and everybody ain't held things straight. Like, bruh, ain't there's no way in the hell I don't know. I, I don't understand how you walk up and you all be. Girl, you should have came in there with some, t like some damn fucking tennis shoes and ready to go in case What's the name? Tried it. And I don't, I don't understand it. But yo, yo, you can walk in, you reading, going in all of this shit. And Hazel E going off on your ass and telling you. But Hazel, child, she got your ass right on together. And that shit was fun. And I, and I got all types of life from it. Um, So, I don't know. But, but Seeker, you did to myself. You you know, he gave you a, he gave you a hit and all this type of shit. Yes, bitch, he gave you a hit for courting. To all these other reports, they didn't beat your, beat your, he didn't beat your ass. But I don't know anymore because we got so many fake ass goddamn bloggers and shit. Like the shade room, uh, like they cute, but at the same time, I'm gonna have to unfollow their ass because it's an Instagram with, like they just take anything and just put a picture of it up. I'm just, I need some real bloggers who gonna give us some real shit like Nicole bitchy. Funka Dineva, um, B. Scott, and some other folks. Uh, but this other Instagram shit, I'm not finna be getting my news from Instagram. I have to, I, when I look at some shit, I have to investigate. Some of y'all asses don't like looking at the, uh, you know, sometimes you have to fact check so you don't have to look stupid as hell. You don't have to fact check simple shit, but shit like that, I'm not finna be talking about it and I don't know nothing about it. And that's a lot of what we do. I'm not gonna get into that because, honey, I do not feel like you motherfucker coming in my goddamn mentions today, honey. Um, child, I'm not even gonna go there because I could say some shady, but I'm being good today. Oh, what else? Because <laughs> y'all know I don't truly give a damn. Um, what else is there to talk about? Oh, uh, Rick Ross and Amaya meeting up, and Rick Ross, Rick Rose doing all this shit. And, and, and I'm like, Rick and Rose, and talking about some bro, I'm glad you gave me a chain, Mario. I'm glad you gave me a chain. Maria, how have you been out before Ricky Rose? And he's he and he like killing your ass in the game. I'm I'm just kind of confused. I I don't get it. That's some shit I just don't understand. 
Maybe you can explain it to me, but it doesn't make any sense. You need to get it together, Marion. Like, you need to get it together. You're talking about you don't want to be best. You just want to be a little bit. But, girl, you need to be something because that song was not a club banger, none of that shit. I'm so tired of y'all in this damn... Whatever y'all doing to y'all voice is changing. The, I, I, it's getting on my nerves. It's getting on my nerves. I'm sick of it. Um, so, Monisa and Baby Mama Fizz meet up. And uh, Fizz just trips me out. He be like, uh... Cause bro, yeah, yeah, and then doing all this shit, but then when he be playing with his son, he be like, "Oh my God, Cameron! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! You see the turtle? Oh my God! I, you know, I like to see that father son thing, but it was just like he be trying to play so damn hood, but he's so soft, kid that shit. But you know what? Um, C C said that's how them dudes talk over there on the West Coast, so that's some newfangled fuckery bullshit." That I'm learning about that shit is a fool to me. I just I hate it so much. Baby, and baby mama fears is he's just he's just annoying. He's just really fucking annoying. Um, I'm glad they meeting up. They getting their shit together. Da da da. And but you know what, Moniece, you need to learn how to put. You need to get somebody to really beat your face in right because your face looked a fool. You like you had on a some type of Invisalign makeup thing because a vis it, it like your makeup was like on here and then you all like your other skin. I just it didn't make any sense to me. Um, I just understand. Tierra Marie goes to perform at the showcase, and she getting ready in the bathroom. I don't know if nobody, but she was getting her face and her hair done, and she was right next to the, the, the paper towel dispenser and the trash can. I thought that shit was hilarious. She performing. She singing her little bullshit song. Ray J come in, brought her a motherfucking real Louis Vuitton bag. And just telling her I love you, um, and da da da. Let's be in there giving these fake, like, like, like fake ass kissings and shit. He chuck, chuck your favorite kisses for my Ray J. And I'm just like, oh, girl. I'm just like, can y'all just kill it? Can y'all just kill it? But they doing all that shit and da 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 da. And it's just like, I don't know what to hit. Like this scripted ass shit from Mona Scott. Mona Scott is scripting the fuck out of this shit. Like she didn't stage Nia's motherfucking um. Damn, fucking miscarriage. She didn't stage the damn car wreck. She just staging so much shit. She staging they got them shit. It's just like a fool. Um, I don't want to talk about that shit anymore. So Nia, Nia and Soldier Girl decide they finna be girl. They finna be an item and shit. He gonna take her home and doing all this type of shit. I hope that works out. I hope it does a little something because I'm that's some shit I just don't understand. Hopefully they get it together because they've been doing some dumb ass shit the whole goddamn season. Naya, you getting your you get the boy tattooed on you. I think that's the dumbest shit ever because you don't look like you haven't been tattooed. Supposed to look at Soldier Boy like you got this shit right on your like right here, like somewhere on on your neck. He got this shit on his stomach. We don't even look at Soldier Boy like it because he's nowhere near track. So I don't I, I, I don't get that. But you know you gonna do what the fuck you gonna do because you grown as hell any damn way. A grown dumbass bitch. You gonna get tattooed? I'm gonna get tattooed because I love Soldier Boy. Girl, I cannot. Um, April and the old, they look cute, pushing the carriage and shit, but y'all walk around with your hot-ass leather coats and shit, like y'all rum DMC and this motherfucker, and y'all on the West Coast and palm trees, it's hot as motherfucker. Take them goddamn leather jackets off, y'all look dumb as hell, y'all look dumb as hell. Um, the real, the reunion for Love and Hip Hop is coming out tonight, unfortunately I won't get a chance to review it right after because I will be at work, but trust and believe, I will be reviewing it tuesday morning i will be doing that as soon as possible tuesday when i get off of work from fed i don't even want to i don't want to go work to fedex tonight i might not i might call in i don't know child. i'm tired of here i want to rest um stun ass tierra maria ray j child y'all remind me of the new the new people of who was that who is that y'all jocelyn and what's his name this y'all the new y'all running around in the Lambo and shit. Child, we know that ain't y'all goddamn car. We know that ain't your car, Ray J. Stop stun. Just stun. But basically, I give this episode this this season of love and hip hop a damn. I'm gonna give it a C because it was just not that good. I thought for the best. But I guess money don't make you gonna be even more funny or shady. I guess we need to keep motherfuckers poor and broke, because that's when they be the best. Just like Nene when she had bad skin and bad teeth. She was turned up, but now she thinks she's a white woman. That's all I got. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all for supporting me. Love y'all so much. Sorry for the late-ass review. I got it in. I got it out. Love y'all so much. And I'm going to take a nap. And I'll talk to y'all later.